Several sources report that CyberLife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years now, this would be the first case of an android being authorized to play an active role in criminal investigations. Detroit police have been working to locate So crazy, man. He's not back there with the androids anymore. He's up there as a human. And you can't tell the difference. Find Jericho. They missed her. Did you spare some change? Don't have anything, bro. What do you say? I'm a robot. And I'll use change. <laughs> oh, it's right here. It's this right here. Hold R2 to decipher the graffiti. Let's analyze the symbol here. Now find that one. What was that, lion? Yeah, it's the left side of a lion's face as well as what looks to be somebody wearing a boxing glove. It's yellowish orange. I don't think it's here. to take the escalators we can't take the stairs because we're not an android interesting see I always take the stairs anyway as a human looks like we found the next symbol oh sorry excuse me straight ahead here so this is somewhat of a treasure hunt I guess you could say. Right there. And down there. Okay, this one is interesting. It's like a rainbow building with stars. Oh, let's see it over there. Gonna wait till it's safe to cross. Do we have to hit any buttons? Nope. These crosswalks are pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Found it. for a robot along a white wall. Any other clues? Oh, it's inside a chain fence. Ah! Would have walked right by that for sure. Where's the last one? To go in there? We might have to go in there. Interesting. Here we go.
Oh, it's behind this. We've got to move this pallet. Side of her face. It's gonna be right over here. So yeah, this is definitely leading us on a wild goose chase. Got that one. And we're probably gonna have to find a way up, find a way to reach the roof. Hmm. These things are literally always move, always used in all all games. You always move them around. Using to jump up on stuff, so that wasn't too hard. Wow. Okay, Mr. Free Runner over here. We've got a second one here, but I don't see the third one. Oh, there's one more right here, dude. I could not find that one. Holy cow, that was hidden. All right, so we've got the next picture. Dude, this is getting a little bit scary. I'm assuming we don't want to go down. We probably want to get across. Pre-construct. Use the right stick to select a route. Okay, this is gonna be cool. So this guy can truly free run. Let's execute it. Woo! That was dope. All right, we're looking for this sparkle looking thing. There it is right there, Sparkle City. With a spark plug. Got three symbols to find. I see two already. That's one and two. The last one, honestly, it took me a minute to find it. Oh, this one's easy. Gonna have to make another path. Weight would not be solid enough. So that way doesn't work. We could try this way. I'm gonna say this. Pretty much one option from here. be too high. Ah, go for the one down there. Got it. Okay. Dude, this is actually pretty insane. Let's execute it. <laughs> he is killing it, dude. And just like that, we're up. Never questioned it once. Just did it. All right, so we're looking for the yellow wall with the hole in it, which should be behind us when we come in here, yep. Concerning. It's like right here. Isn't it? I don't get what it's wanting us to look at though. There we go. Finally found the spot. That's what I was trying to do. Alright. 
Backpack looking out at the yellow wall. Should be in here. Dude, I'm getting a little bit freaked out. How are we getting all these updated images? And stuff, you know what I mean? Like, what, what is this coming from? Who's doing this? The Jericho, it's an old ship. Okay. not going to be going across that. Alright. Uh, I, I wasn't planning on it. Anyway. It's alright. I, I was expecting that. Get a running jump. Yeah, this is a crane we're climbing right now. Yep. I don't know if it's our best idea, but we'll see if we can make it work. What is happening right now? <laughs> All right. I don't know if I would just randomly jump into a pool of who knows what on a random abandoned ship in the middle of a downtown Detroit, but we'll see what we can do here, boys. Hopefully we're gonna be able to find what we're looking for. Flashlight. Nice. Dude, I'm getting the chills all up and down my back. I don't know if we should open those doors or if we should- oh! These are old, like, homeless androids, aren't they? Okay, that's not gonna wake up everything that's on this ship. Let's get the flashlight back up. And why don't we just get the heck out of here, bro? Like we, let's just go back to, to serving the humans. You know what, oh my God. Welcome to Jericho. Okay, um, 
I, I guess that's what was supposed to happen. There wasn't really much we could stray from the path there. That, that got a bit weird. I'm not going to lie. Welcome to Jericho, he says. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. So, we've now joined a legion of runaway robots, androids, whatever you want to call them. I like Kara. I don't know about the whole Jericho thing, though. I don't know if I trust that. Like, Kara, I feel like, is, is a good person. This, this Jericho thing is not looking, looking kosher. I don't know. We'll see. Listen, I got a shit hot tip for you. Number five in the third. Lickety split. That Philly's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood it? Last shit hot tip you gave me sent me back a week's wages paper. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. We're gonna scan him. See if he's lying or not. Abdar Pedro, legal gambling and fraud. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Damn straight. Hey, won't regret this. So we got a tip from him. Interesting. What is your problem? Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. I thought now might be a good time to review what we know about deviants. No, now is not a good time to review anything. Now is my lunch break. So just go into standby and cut me some slack, okay? There you go. We're gonna scan what he's eating? Goodness gracious. Wow. 1680 calories. My oh, goodness. Thanks, Gary. I'm starving. Mm. I'll leave that thing here. Huh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. See? Cholesterol. Your meal contains 1.4 times the recommended daily intake of calories and twice the cholesterol level. You shouldn't eat that. Everybody's got to die of something. Fair enough. Let's talk about this guy's this gambling. Pedro. He was proposing illegal gambling. Am I right? Yeah. And you made a bet. Yeah. <laughs> um. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. OK. Emotions always screw everything up. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? <laughs> Cyberlife androids are designed to work harmoniously with humans. Both my appearance and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> A lot of you guys. Before? A lot of you guys have been telling me that I look like Connor, so that's kind of insulting to me. A few months me. back, a deviant was threatening to jump off the roof with a little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? You know everything there is to know about me? I'm focused on the case, Lieutenant. 
The rest doesn't concern me. I just got a report of a suspected deviant. It's a few blocks away. We should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. We just told him that we hadn't been creeping on him and it hurt our relationship with him. Maybe you could tell we're lying, I don't know. I was thinking that was gonna help out our relationship, not hurt it. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to Cyberlife. Uh. Well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? <laughs> no. I'm coming. Well, let's go then. Let's right, what go do we know about this suspect. guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Right. Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an LED under his cap. Feathers from a rock pigeon. Oh, Christ, if we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're gonna need more cops. Anybody home? Open up, Detroit police! Stay behind me. Got it. Could definitely hear somebody in there. Should we be checking in these rooms too? Go for it, bud. What the fuck is this? Ugh. What the hell? Jesus, this place stinks. Uh, uh, looks like we came for nothing. Our man's gone. Maybe not. Urban farms of Detroit. Fields in the heart of the city. There's a second clue to analyze here, but I don't see it. Oh, up here. Hmm. Interesting. Found something? It's gonna be useful. I don't know. It looks like a notebook, but it's indecipherable. Suspect doesn't eat. Uh-oh. I wonder if he could be an android. Cares for wild animals. Military jacket, interesting. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials in his jacket? That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. The sink is a mess. Ugh. Blue blood. Just tracked him down. And he took out his LED chip. Bio component number 9301 deactivated. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. And it's got RA9 all over the walls. Oh no, dude. This is not good. Just like the one in the house that killed his. Oh. RA9. Written 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? 
Looks like mazes or something. Just like in the notebook. Obsessive compulsive writing. So when he heard us knocking, he was writing, and he fell over, and that's the bang we heard. So he ran this way. Real books. I thought I was the last guy in Detroit to keep some. ID for Rupert Travis that matches the driver's uh, license is fake. Cool. At least we didn't come for nothing. The jacket, RT. This fell off the ceiling, huh? Recently broken. Fell on its corner. Got some fingerprints. Suspect ran towards the entrance. He heard us enter, he came this way. And he's gonna end up going in this closet, isn't he? Suspect is still here. Oh boy. Expose the suspect. Oh Jesus. Goddamn fucking pigeons. What are you waiting for? Chase it. Here we go, baby. Oh, these are the fields that, oh, this is cool. Fast but risky. Fast but risky. I like to risk it for the biscuit. Your boy is quick. Direct but crowded, safer detour. Let's go direct but crowded. Your boy can handle him. Gotta jump down. Woo! Where'd he go? Straight through here. Got another way out here. Fast but risky. I'm going for it. Everybody's like, what in the world is happening? But we got this. Oh, baby. right on his tail. No way he keeps it up from us. Come on. Come on, baby. Direct the crowd and safe and slow. Look out. We're going straight through. Into the cornfields. <gasps> Save Hank or chase Deviant?
I mean, I'm just doing my job. Hank's now upset with us. Please. I've done nothing wrong. I just wanted to be free. You know what they'll do to me if you turn me in. Model 87400-4961. Serious malfunctions have been detected in your software, including class 4 errors. You've been deemed defective and will be sent back to Cyberlife for deactivation. <laughs> Don't you fucking move. <clears throat> oh, oh, bastard. You saw I was gonna fall and you'd rather let me die than fail your fucking mission. I had to make a choice. It seemed to me... What am I to you? A statistic? A zero? A one in your fucking program? Huh? Is that how you see humans, you bastard? Jesus. I understand you're upset. Perhaps I didn't assess the Fuck situation. you and your fucking assessment! Come here. Why are you doing this? All oh, right. You're one of us. Shut up! You're helping humans. But you're just their slave. I said shut up! Come along. All right, now you see me. Hey, what the? Ooh. Holy shit! Fucking androids. I mean, when I saw he almost had a 90% chance of survival, I figured he could take himself and he'd be happy if we ended up getting the suspect. Of course we chose the wrong thing and now he feels like we totally... Oh, man. All right, well, that's going to be a great episode there. My goodness, this game is just so insane. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.